find the value of the trigonometric expression. So we have an expression that's given in terms of sine 15 and sine 75 with various powers to it. Now we know that sine theta is equal to cos of 90 minus theta. Now I see here I have sine 75. So I can call it as sine 75. Cos 90 minus 75 gives me cos 50. So all these sine 75 degrees we can rewrite that as cos power 6 15 cos power 4 15 this is cos square 15 and this is cos square 15 again. So let's rewrite them all. Now we have sine power 6 15 degree and cos power 6 15 degree. We have a power 6 and b power 6. So let's call a as sine square 15 degree and let's call b as cos square 15 degrees. Now sine square 15 degrees we cube it we get sine power 6 and cos square 15 degree you cube it you get cos power 6. So I can call it a plus b we need a cube plus b cube but we can rewrite that as a plus b the whole cube minus 3 times of a b into a, a plus b right we can rewrite a cube plus b cube as this format where a is sin square and b is cos square now similarly we have sin power 4 and cos power 4 i can say a square plus b square because sin square 15 the whole square becomes sin power 4. In that case we can rewrite this as a plus b the whole square minus 2ab. Done. So we are going to rewrite this in this format now. In that case we get <coughs> a plus b the whole cube minus 3ab into a plus b. Here we have plus 6ab. Similarly in the denominator we can rewrite that as a plus b the whole square minus 2ab and we have plus 5ab. Now we know a is sine square and b is cos square. So sine square plus cos square is always 1. So this we can write it as 1 cube minus 3ab again a plus b again gives me 1 so 3ab into 1 is 1 plus 6ab divided by this is 1 square minus 3ab so further simplifying we get 1 minus 6ab minus 3ab is minus 3ab plus 3ab divided by 1 plus 3ab so 5ab minus 2ab, 2ab is 3ab. So 1 plus 3ab by 1 plus 3ab, we get the answer as 1. So the value of this expression is 1.5.